Jamaican traffic jam. Uh, right now, we're, we have three new guests coming on here, and I'm very pleased to have them. We have next to me is uh, Julie Pink. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, Julie is the um, director of the Thursday Musical Group. Uh, uh, club. Club. Got it right. Got it right. Oh, man. It's been a rough morning. Excuse me, all. Uh, when, especially when somebody says, don't say that, that's the first thing that pops in your mind, right? <laughs> next to her is Eleanor Farnham, and she is the accompanist. And then next to her, we have uh, Diana Lucci. And we're talking about the Thursday Musical Club, and they've been around a hundred years. Get out. You don't look old enough to no, be. No, that's no, a different group. <laughs> and I know you brought some great photographs, too, so we'll be looking at those as well. Uh, first of all, let's start out, Diane. I know you contacted me first. Tell me a little bit about the group. Well, this group was started a hundred years ago, and we just celebrated our hundredth uh, anniversary concert in April. <coughs> We had a piece commissioned for us. The group started actually uh, back in 1913 by the wives of some of the GE executives in the GE plot. Oh, in which they just homes. had a big uh, tour there, yeah. And uh, they would meet on Thursday afternoon because that was the maid's day off. And thus the group Oh, the maid's name. day off. What, was yeah. that a time? Yes, <laughs> yes. So when does your maid get a day off? Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> Never. <laughs> but so we have been, re, uh, you know, in existence that long, and um, uh, we really celebrated this year. We had a piece commissioned for us, written for us, and we had a wonderful, wonderful concert uh, in April. And we do a diverse amount of music, uh, and that's what I love about uh, singing with the group. Now, if, they, if someone is watching right now and would like to join, I mean, we can have the director probably check them out, but is this something that uh, the average person could join, or do you have to be an accomplished vocalist? No, you don't have to be an accomplished. You have to be willing to listen and learn, and I think that's one of the beautiful things about this group is that we're constantly learning uh, from Julie and, uh, you know, different music, and you may start out with a piece of music that you think, oh boy, I don't care for this at all, and by the end of our little semester, we do con two concerts a year. Oh, wow. Uh, you know, you really think, wow, that's that was one of my favorite pieces, so yeah. I I think that's what I enjoy most about it. It's it the development. Help, yes, yes, and it does help to read music, though. Yeah, well, I know it's and I, it's difficult for some people to see a, a note on paper and know what that note is in their head. I mean, that's like incredible for some people. Mm -hmm. But if you they have good tonal, they can hear it and they can follow it. So I don't know. You've got a job set ahead for you. A companyist. What does an accompanist do? A company. <laughs> a company. Okay. Uh, no, good. Do you play on uh, an organ or yes. a piano or yes. keyboard? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. She's very good. She's yes. an accomplished accompanist. Yes, she well, certainly is. Whatever Julie wants. Um, sometimes pieces are more adaptable to organ and piano, so we go to both. Now, where do you practice? Oh, at uh, First Methodist Church. And State located Street. which one? State Street. Okay, and State Street. Yeah. Okay, good. And you go yeah. practice every, every Wednesday. But it's not on Thursdays, though, is it? Oh, no, nothing is on Thursday. <laughs> they do, but they call it Thursday. So let's find out what a director does. What's a director do? I just want to say this accompanist is extremely flexible. She's been with us uh, for a good while of time, so she has had to be adaptable over the years, and she has played everything from ABBA to Buxta Huda. So oh, I, I, I just have to put in a, a plug quite a, uh, for her, her flexibility. <laughs> I, I don't think they've shown the photos. Uh, if you could show the photos and maybe play some of the music behind it, and we'll talk about it. And you tell us what these photos are of. And they may not be in the correct order. So This is our most recent photo. We had this taken for our 100th anniversary concert on that, on that very afternoon. Um, and this goes back, I believe this is the earliest photo that we have in our archives. Um, it, right in the center is uh, Elmer Tidmarsh, um, who conducted from 1920 to 1965. Wow, because that name is, is uh, known in the area. Yes, he founded the Department of Music at mm -hmm. Union right, College. Yeah, Tidmarsh. Yeah. So, um, 
and uh, the photo that you're seeing now, uh, I believe, was during the 50s, and you get a good idea of the ladies having their tea and maybe having the rehearsal after, before, we're not quite sure, but. Um, and this is the era of the 60s where With we the gowns. had the long gowns and of course the fabulous piano at Union College where we sang for so many years. Um, and so you can see how the groups progressed over yeah, the years. Now course. we're in black and white. <laughs> and and it, it looks classy too. It, Very nice. You. And thank it's you. easy. It's easy, right? Yeah. Black and white. Yeah, you yes. have to worry about getting those gowns yeah, fitted, right? I like it. Uh, do you have a concert coming up, or what's what's going on? Well, when when well, can people hear you? We take the summer off, okay. and uh, we start uh, on September 4th this year. We, our rehearsals are on Wednesday. My husband laughs because he says, you're Thursday Musical Club, but you rehearse on Wednesday, and your concerts are on the weekend. So, <laughs> you know, it, it, it is a little dubious there. But um, we rehearse from 9.30 to 11.30. We also have a couple little um, uh, length a little lengthy coffee hours oh, nice, that we hold nice. during the year. And uh, it's just a great diverse uh, group of women. And some of them have been sang under Mr. Tidmarsh. I think we have one woman who sang the last concert with uh, Dr. Tidmarsh. The one thing that I think that is unique about our group is that we also have scholarships. We give out scholarships. I saw that, and I was amazed because you give them Schenectady County Community College, Union College, high school. Tell us more about that, and how can people apply? Well, I think they just need to, you know, they're, they're music uh, students at the Schenectady Community College and the Union uh, College, and then at the high school. I believe that the high school scholarship is one of the newest ones that okay. we have. And they have a wonderful John Sales Fine Arts uh, oh, school, yes. school of Fine Arts. Yes. Very good, and I mean, from music to uh, theater, I mean, they have it all. I mean, it's really good. We are so fortunate to have a high school that's so uh, progressive when it yeah. comes to that. Yeah. And it's always sad when you hear that they, if, we're getting, if we have to cut, we're going to cut the music department and we're going to cut this. And it's like, it just makes me so sad to hear yes. that. Right. Because yeah. we need the younger women coming on up into the community choirs. Right. So that's important for us. And listening to the, the angels with the group earlier reminded me of what a nice sound that female voice provides for the harmony and the blend and um, there's really nothing like it. We, we really love our female group. Well, and it is. It gives it a nice sound. Now, do, are you out for hire if somebody wants to hire you guys to perform? Well, I do believe, yes, we've sung at uh, some of the nursing homes we go out and entertain. Uh, last year we did the opening night for the uh, store experience. Oh, experience and creative yes. experience and creative Yes, design, we yeah. did uh, the opening for their Christmas season, so that was very mm -hmm. exciting yeah. for us and uh, different. Yeah. Uh, so yes, we are. Yeah, David, I mean, they're, they're really nice people over there, I know that, so, and uh, Rudy. Uh, it's really great to hear, I, I'd say we'll break out in song, but I guess we've been kind of listening to that in the background. And you said how many members? We have roughly around 40 members this now, year. Do you, do you do you have a special need for like alto or soprano or bass? I mean, what what? Well, we we have uh, we usually divide into first soprano, second soprano, first alto, and second alto. Okay. And usually, no bass. <laughs> second soprano and second altos are kind of hard to come by. I would yeah. think those would be the two. So if you are one of them, maybe you'd like to join the group, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Give us a call. Check out our website. We'd be glad to hear from you. And their website is quite nice, and you'll be able to get all that information off there. I, I, I always check my websites out of the guests that come on because I have to kind of know a little bit more about the organization as well as finding out their contact information and getting that. Um, I think I had never heard of this group, so I get this email, and I'm going, what is this? This is great. I am so happy. I love to promote women's events and women's organizations, people that are doing some really, re really neat things. And I love the idea that they're going out and uh, entertaining some of the uh, nursing homes, assisted living, and whatever. But anyway, they're out there. And if you'd like to get involved, don't tell me you have nothing to do and your life is boring because you can get out and do something. And uh, we're just trying to show it to you on this show, what you can get out and do. We'll be watching for your next concert. Please let me know, and I'll be sure to help promote it in my newsletter so that it people is, know it. It's August 6th, Saturday.
August 6th, and where is that going to be? That is always held uh, right now at the Schenectady Reform Church. Okay, good. And I think we might have put that up there. I'm not right. sure, but anyways. December. Oh, oh, December. December. They're having a little December, conversation. Sorry. Excuse us. When is it now? December 6th. December 6th. Well, I mean, it'll be a holiday. Yeah, it'll be okay. It won't be Christmas in in August, so. <laughs> That's okay. Well, we'll help get that promoted, too, and perhaps you'll join the group.